So this month I'm going to chat a bit about buttons. A bit about buttons. Okay, a little bit about buttons. So for many years, decades, open air voice recognition was the holy grail for home automation enthusiasts. Now that we've had it for a couple years with Alexa and Google Home, life is good. Like, um, hey Google, ask how sick mail has arrived today. Okay. Everyone should have a Google in their treehouse. Yep, mail arrived at 1 6 p.m. today. So when would you not want to use voice recognition? Well... Sometimes life is a little too loud. Alexa! Turn the off. And sometimes life needs to be a little quieter. Like, Alexa, tell House to go to bed. You wouldn't want your voice commands Putting to wake to up sleep. a sleeping light bear. Backyard lights off. No. Sleeping lights <laughs> off. Happen to happen. Sleeping bear TV in my bed. Off. Not common occurrence. And sometimes life needs to be quick and stealthy. Like when I'm trying to train our dogs not to bark at motion in the driveway. Periodically throughout the day, I simulate someone, is in the driveway. someone coming in the driveway and they don't bark. Sometimes. So back to a bit about buttons. Specifically Z-Wave buttons. Z-Wave is a wireless home automation protocol like Zigbee, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Um, like Zigbee, it is a mesh network, so the more devices you add, the stronger and further the, the network can go. Uh, it's supported by a number of home automation hubs, like the SmartThing hubs that I use. So let's start with this little four-button remote I just showed you. Uh, it's from a company called Aeon Labs. They specialize in Z-Wave. They have dozens of Z-Wave products from sensors to switches to remotes. Um, a $45 remote, it's got a little slider here with buttons you can easily add and delete it from your network. So what's better than a four button remote? Glad you asked. An eight button remote. Uh, this is from a company called Remote Tech, also $45, uh, but has a big advantage. Actually this is 24 buttons because each one of these buttons can be tapped, double tap, or tap and hold. I guess that's just hold. Uh, for example, if I Tap this button that will toggle the Sonos on and off. If I double tap it, that'll increase the volume. Double tap. Up the volume. I hold it. Volume will go down. Down. Okay. Now wrap. I can touch this. Uh, now for a product I would not recommend. This is a Z-Wave doorbell that if you're close, works, but if you're even 10 feet away, it doesn't. There's a device plugged into the wall, and if you're within a few feet, if you're within a few feet, doorbell one. But a few feet does not get you to your door, so don't touch this. <laughs> uh, what's next? Ah, a uh, home steer switch. I got a room to show you this one. Now, there's a ton of switches out there. Uh, wall outlets, plugs, little boxes. I'm not going to show those, but this one I will because it doubles as a button. So it's got the normal switch capability. Some sexy lights here that go up and down so you can dim and brighten your lights. But in addition to controlling the local light, which is over there, with this switch you can control anything else in the house by uh, using double tap or double hold. So if I double tap this, rather than control the local light, it's going to turn on those lights across the room. So this is really useful if you have uh, other things you want to do in your house and you just happen to have these switches nearby. This one's set up that as a test mode. So when I push uh, a button, it'll, it'll go Seven. number one through eight. Seven and eight are just the normal on and offs. Eight. Double tap will be one on the top. One. And the house will say 100. two at the bottom. Two. And Chandelier five. Wall. Hold, that'll be five, five, five. on the top. Five. And a bunch of five. fives because I held a bunch. Six. Six on the bottom. Five. So five. pretty sexy little Six. switches. Five. A little pricey. Fifty dollars as opposed five. to forty dollars for a normal uh, Z-Wave switch. Finally, we have some Z-Wave products from a company in Poland called Fibio, I think. 
Uh, slightly overpriced, uh, but pretty sexy. Like this $150 picture frame here. It has gesture control circuitry built into the back so that you can do uh, eight different gestures um, and have your house control things. Like I can wave my hand to the right, or toggle truck my truck podcast frame. on or off, uh, so, wave it again, uh, toggle it off. Podcast. And I can wave to the left, that will toggle the Sonos so box so on off. I can't, still can't touch them. Uh, clockwise, counterclockwise, up and down. I can do up, for example, we'll curtains do up. the curtains up, and down will do the curtains down. Curtains down. And let's see the curtains over yonder magically go down. Helen is near Brookwood Hospital. Helen's on her way home. So that will be it for this month. A um, bit about buttons, maybe more than a bit than you wanted. And the doggies are anxiously waiting. Mommy, they do this whenever the house says she's coming home. So thanks for watching. See you next month.